actually come out to one uh, in the future near you. But in the meantime, go ahead and enjoy this great action. We got TSM Zero, we got KOL Conga, and we got another winner's quarters match. One of these guys trying to advance into uh, winner's semis and buy product of that into top eight. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, that's what we're uh, trying to get to right here. This will be the second match that qualifies for the winner's side of top eight. No, I already see Boy just kind of scraping his way in there against yeah. ESAM. Now, fun thing about this. Oh, he just scooped that man straight that out that roll. The quickest of grabs. Now, I've seen Zero in the past struggle a little bit against DK. I'll take you back uh, to a Katar, I believe it was, where Tweak actually reset the bracket against Zero. Not with his Cloud, no, but with his DK. So we have already seen that this character sometimes can present a little bit of trouble for Zero. But, you know, whenever a character does seem to give him a lot of trouble, he just hits that lab and polishes it up. Great reactions, though, I'm seeing from Congo here. We already know that this guy is far from a scrub. Can certainly make the right plays at the right time. Yeah. And Zero's, you know, he's the kind of player that's really going to just force out your best. That's going to be a quick 3-0 for you. Zero hasn't even put him, like, you know, a scary percent just yet. I mean, 86, 94 now. You know, he's nearing the scary -er percent if he ends up getting caught here by this ledge, but not by a grab. You know, right. he has to be, like, down tilt uh, or a, not down tilt, but a uh, banana to force smash or something like that. I feel like for Diddy in this matchup, it's just, it's all about just maintaining control, right? Don't let anything get out of, out of hand right here. Keep DK at bay as best you can. And, of course, Zero plays that great ledge trapping game as well as a fantastic neutral. And those are going to be the kind of things that he oh, needs. No. Now watch those monkey flips because things like that happen. Oh, and just like that, no. a stock erased and all that hard work down the drain for Zero. I'm not even sure what he was going for in that situation for that monkey flip. Like, he was There's chilling no, on the ledge no the entire time. There was no need for I, Like, it. the only thing he would have covered in that situation was if he just started to dash in. And I don't think Congo's really been doing any of that. Right. I mean, he was behind that banana. He was stuck. Yeah, it was, I was just a oh. ill-advised monkey flip right there from uh, Zero. Well, luckily for Zero, he does find him in a position where he is just Famous for right there, just all that control on the right side. But that stock puts pretty much on borrowed time, if you will. Yeah, that was the anti right there too, man. What a different character, but it still works, man. You just roll, roll behind someone at the ledge, get that back throw. There it is. All right, just look at how much damage that he was able to just put on off of just two or three hits right there. Zero already sitting at 63. My man's got some work to do here. Conga definitely came to play. Yeah, Conga definitely over here trying to do more than just beat his chest. I'll tell you that. He, he, he's trying to get some grabs right here. You can see a lot of these pivot grabs coming out, but this time I feel like he needs to start forcing Zero to, into, to even thinking he can roll behind him before he starts going for more pivot grabs in this situation. Because Zero's probably looking for that uh, the entire time right now. Oh. Zero right now has to really just play that anti-grab game because you know that's exactly what Kong is looking for here. And Zero's probably got to Oh, yeah, I was like, he's got to watch himself on this shield, uh, on this platform because Kong has been jumping up there with neutral layers. They've been pretty safe, but he has been hitting shields. So the next time, you know, if he keeps thinking Zero's going to go for that shield, he can always go for that side B for the break. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Zero getting a little assault right here. Yeah, he's catching steam right here. And this is where he can be so deadly. Plenty of momentum behind him here. And again, Conga finding himself where many players dread being off stage. And without a chance, zero, the efficiency comes through right there. And that was all a byproduct of just his efficient ledge trapping. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I think Conker's got to find another way to get back on stage as well, though. He's doing, he's doing a lot of standard get-ups with the banana that's right next to the ledge. So even if Zero didn't hit him immediately, he would still slip on a banana. So he's got to watch himself. I hear you, man. At the same yeah. time, he is a little bit limited. It is DK. Yeah, 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 big yeah. target right there. Big, big target. I'm just saying, though, he might have to start going for some more uh, some, some, some more eccentric ways to get back on stage. Uh, the standard get-up is not getting on, and I feel like the roll-on is just going to get him uh, blown up as well. So we'll see, though. He's already on the ledge trying to get, get the jump off, but that banana was there scouting it. So he's going to take this damage. You can definitely see Zero always trying to push his opponent to the edge. Of course. All his friends are dead. So what's up? <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Zero looking like he's trying to get this game there again. And you're going to see him do that a lot of the times, right? Because whenever he's in a position where he can just be above DK, he's safely, he's going to go for that down air because there's really no reason not to. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah, trouble. That's that's, yeah, that's trouble right there. I mean, that wasn't even a down tilt down smash, but I mean, that down smash in that situation might be one of the down smashes that everyone thinks uh, Zero definitely won this set. Like, this is over. Quick reaction right there from Zero. All right. So Conga right here. Not really, not really being able to chase this man around. Zero has decided to slow this down to his pace. He only approaches when he wants to, gets that free damage, and then he just steps it back yeah, man. right thing, after that. One thing Zero's been doing really well, too, man, he's really utilizing that platform, right, that moving platform whenever it's in range, just kind of to perfection, just playing around it and making it that much more difficult for Conga to really put his hands on him. 
But Zero, I mean, I know it's Diddy Kong, man, but he's out here sunning DK. I don't know what you can say. Yeah, see, I, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just stand up in the ledge like that. Ends up slipping right on that banana, giving uh, Zero another free punt. And he does it again, but Zero. Kong, I mean, maybe not respecting his banana enough uh, to stop standing up. Like, <laughs> there it is. Again, I mean, this is. I feel like this is at least 80% of zero damage. Yeah, yeah. When you're trying to recover and you have to get back on the stage, I'm sure we have some statisticians who can uh, clarify okay. that. So the get-up attack actually moves the bana banana behind them. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And it hits pretty far in. But, I mean, he's already got he's, he's got so much damage on it right now on his second stock, and he hasn't even been able to get the first one. Gotta wrap it up. up. Yeah. All right, zero going up 2-0 right now. Conga back to the wall. Got to pull something out here. Stage change may be in order. We shall see. They change, maybe even a character change. I don't even know. He probably don't play nobody else. So this man, DK mains when DK died. I couldn't imagine playing anyone else. I don't know, man. I saw Will using Sheik one time. Yeah, well. But then again, those were just sub games. So yeah, it's just I mean, like. I mean, you saw <laughs> Will using Sheik one time, probably in 2015. Like, that joint is gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. So going into it, man. Game three here. Conga looks kind of decent in that first game, but after that, you know, Zero's obviously found his footing the pace of the match that he wants to play, and also how to put this man on the ledge to get as much damage as he can off of it. Wow. Wow, excellent cancel right there off the monkey flip. What a grab, too. Did you see that? Nice. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, oh that's, yeah, you my, knew it. Done. As soon yeah. as that banana connected, you knew what option was coming next. Yeah, he really didn't have anything else he could have done right there because, you know, had he waited any longer to start that up B, he was going to die for it. And had he air dodged, well, he was going to be too low. So trying to break that combo with the up B right there, but... Uh, obviously, oh my, how did he get that? He's not trying, to break, he he's not trying to break the kind. He's getting broken. I'm saying he's definitely getting broken right now. What? Zero, Z zero please. This, this is the persistent monkey right here, man. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so. It's looking real good for uh, Zero this time around. Obviously, I mean, like, as the set went, though, you know, he, you could tell he was just learning or remembering how to play this matchup, and it has uh, showed very much uh, from game one to game three. This is, I mean, this is an absolute body bag. I mean, you can't really describe it any other fashion here. Zero from start to finish has just exploded here, despite, you know, that first game looking like it could have gone out of the way of Conga, man. We are far removed from that situation. Oh, okay. Jabbing him up. Also, oh, that was nice, that but not nice. enough to finish, man. Luckily, uh, enough for all. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Message. Stomp him. Stomp the yard right there, man. And this is big time right here. Because I mean, he, this <laughs> is where DK does have the potential to bring things back. That was Stomp the yard. Zero was looking like Chris Brown right there. <laughs> can't, can't survive 15 minutes in that movie. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Either way, though, another setup right here from Zero has got him off the edge. I mean, this is going to be a little difficult for him to get back. He's trying. Oh, oh that yeah, that's yep. it. That yeah. banana just right there causing the slip. A good effort right there from Conga, man. Definitely fought hard to the bitter end, but Zero was just a little too much and overwhelmed in that situation. So that's going to give him the 3-0. But that that right there, honestly, man, you know, he could have avoided a lot of damage just uh, not doing that stand to get up multiple times. Like, that was, that was, I won't say this matchup experience. Maybe he just wasn't thinking about it. I hear you. Or maybe he just didn't, forgot the banana was there. Because that standard get up every time, you, uh, if you ever get up uh, at the ledge, there's no way that you're going to block uh not getting uh, hit by that banana. I mean, there's other things he could have tried to go for, but I think Zero is actually really uh, privy on and punishes people like possibly trying to Z grab the banana, throw it back before he lands on stage. You know, I've seen a lot of people try to do that, but at the same time, I've also seen Zero punish people for trying to do that. Right, so. exactly. So it is what it is, man. A good effort nonetheless. I'm sure we'll see a little bit more of Conga later on. A very, definitely one of the, uh, the, the the highlights of this tournament, I would say, right? Yeah. One of the, the feel good stories, if you will, because he definitely kind of came out of nowhere here and he's been putting some bodies under that belt. So well done to him. Yeah, he uh, might not be able to get in on the winner's side, but, you know, that was the winner's side, so he still has a chance to get on top of it on the loser's side. We'll see what happens here uh, with the rest of this uh, bracket. But we are about to move on to yes. another match in at the winner's side. We got Captain Zach Captain versus Zach. C9 Ally. You already know, man. He likes to dance on people, likes to dance on the stage. That boy just be moving. But he is going up against one of the best in the game, 